when you're cutting out kite panels, it's best to have the outer edge of the kite parallel to the warp fibres, which run down the roll and have the least stretch. Uh, across the roll, it's called the weft, and that has a little bit more stretch. And diagonal to the fibres is the bias, which is very stretchy. Uh, so this plan is for a 1.7 metre rokaku, and uh, I'll be dealing with this top triangle, is the finished kite. Uh, so laying out the template along uh, the warp fibres and just mark the, the sewing line which is the finished size of the panel and then adding uh, 20, 20 millimetre seam allowance all the way around and you, you cut out along that seam allowance and if you have a decent pair of scissors you can just zoom along like that it doesn't have to be all that accurate this cut. Here's a panel I'd cut out earlier and next we're going to sew these two together along the seam. So you place them face to face and just pin along that seam line or the sewing line. Uh, some people use tape or glue but pins work fine for me, a lot less messy too. And you just sew a straight stitch along the sewing line. Now open them out and you can just sew that seam down flat but a more professional way to do it is to cut off a little bit more than half of the underneath seam allowance depending on which way you're folding it and then you the top seam allowance you fold over one centimetre and then fold over again and sew that down flat. And that's called a flat fell seam. And that hides the, uh, un the uh, raw edges. It'd be better if the sewing was straight too. 